There you go. God, I wish we had a Pizza Hut in South Park. You know Pizza Hut likes to think outside the box when it comes to creative dishes. Chocolate chip cookie pizza, anyone? Hot dog stuffed crusts, perhaps? Well, today we're going to be looking at their more traditional and most well-loved food items. The top 10 Pizza Hut menu items ranked worst to best. Make with the pizza, Fatso. Ultimate Cheese Lover's Pizza. <sighs> A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Judging by the internet chatter and plenty of one-star reviews, Pizza Hut's Ultimate Cheese Lover's Pizza is Bruh. a definite miss. While in theory, just a whole lot of cheese melted on top of a pizza, it doesn't sound so bad, in practice it is much, much worse. Topped with cheeses of different varieties such as Romano and Parmesan that have been faintly browned in the oven, as well as a delicate sprinkling of dried parsley, this pizza is the thing that nutritionists have nightmares about. The 99 cheese pizza. The thing that stands out about the Ultimate Cheese Lover's Pizza is the sheer diversity of the complaints, which speaks to some level of disorganized management on the company's end of things. One critic says there was only cheese on one half of the pizza and that it just wasn't enough. Others claim that the cheese was in fact overpowering and that there was some other flavor in there, perhaps powdered garlic and powdered milk, that just didn't fit the rest of the pizza. There are good reviews, though. One person writes that you shouldn't expect real tasting foods from a brand such as Pizza Hut, and if you're a lover of unapologetically synthetic, greasy, unhealthy foods, then you should give it a go. Oh, you guys had pizza? Stuffed Garlic Knots Pizza. My stomach's gonna be a knot. I want it to be because I've been eating garlic knots. Pizza Hut's Stuffed Garlic Knots Pizza features a hand-tossed crust embedded with 16 hand-rolled cheese-stuffed garlic knots along its edge. While it may sound like an extremely creative idea to begin with, how does it actually measure up against everything else on the menu? Well, let's start with the one thing that makes it stand out from the rest, the crust. These aren't exactly the garlic knots that have been promised. The crust itself is brushed with Pizza Hut's crust flavoring, basically just oregano, parsley, and basil, all the good pizza-type herbs. <laughs> While the flavor of this concoction goes well on the crust, it's hard to taste the herbs against all the dough in the so-called knot. While it's hard to get into the doughy balls immediately, once you're in, they're actually quite good, soft and moist, just how we like them. Though it's supposed to be cheese stuff, the little nugget that's placed inside is disappointing, to say the least. If we're judging a book by its cover, or a stuffed garlic knots pizza by its stuffed garlic knots, this one comes up short. No! God, please, no! 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 Buffalo Chicken Pizza. Have as much buffalo chicken pizza and video games as you want. Who doesn't love a good serving of a dozen or two buffalo chicken wings? Traditionally deep fried and then coated with some delicious sauce, there are plenty of variations on this beloved snack. There are buffalo chicken chips, buffalo chicken dips, and now buffalo chicken pizza. If you're familiar with the Pizza Hut menu, you'll know that there are plenty of other buffalo options to choose from. So what sets this one apart? Well, this pizza definitely packs a punch. It's topped with grilled chicken, red onions, and banana peppers. Make sure you've got a glass of milk ready to tame that heat. But that's not all. On top of that scrumptious combination, there's also a spicy buffalo sauce that's drizzled over top the entire thing. A nice touch. Oh my god, <laughs> it burns so good. The crust is also rimmed with baked on cheddar cheese shavings, which really adds that extra texture to the pizza as a whole. According to one Pizza Hut goer, once they tried Pizza Hut's buffalo chicken pizza, they knew there was no going back. This was their new favorite pizza. Not too much spice to distract from the flavors of everything else that was on the pizza, and that satisfying texture that's created by the cheddar cheese crust is a bonus. Right after I beat Gears of War. And this buffalo chicken pizza. Barbecue bacon cheeseburger pizza. You forgot my barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Barbecue sauce, bacon, and cheese on the side. Pizza Hut's barbecue bacon cheeseburger pizza features barbecue sauce, classic meatballs, hardwood smoked bacon, fresh red onions, and diced Roma tomatoes with a barbecue sauce drizzle and toasted cheddar crust. In other words, if you're a fan of everything in the name, as most of us are, you're going to love this pizza. 
This is an innovative pizza that's great for hungry yet indecisive eaters. Those who have eaten this can't stop raving about it. The barbecue sauce delivers smooth honey, sultry smokiness, and that tomatoey tang that we look for in every pizza. While at first glance it may look like too much barbecue sauce, it's actually drizzled quite lightly, giving a nice visual component to the food as well. Stop licking my hand. There was barbecue sauce on it. The meatballs are full of flavor with an excellent spongy texture. Compared to other pizza chains, this is actually something quite good. You can't get good quality pizza meatballs anywhere else. As for the vegetables, they add the perfect contrast that's needed to finish off this pizza. If you're looking for something a little healthier, you definitely shouldn't be picking up this pizza. But for the hungry, hungry meat lover out there, this is the one for you. Tired of not eating meat. Meat's good. Supreme Pizza. One supreme pizza with extra anchovies. Hold the mushrooms. One of Pizza Hut's more popular pies, the Supreme Pizza has it all. It's topped with a heaping amount of veggies like green peppers and onions, but also contains seasoned pork and pepperoni, giving us a well-balanced bite. While, again, there are some complaints about the toppings not covering the whole pizza, the Supreme Pizza has been generally well-received by the public, probably for the wide variety of toppings that it contains. However, while its plethora of diverse toppings might be enough to satisfy the general population, it's not specific enough to stand out as anyone's all-time favorite pizza. You know the best part about winning a baseball game? What's that? Going to Pizza Hut to celebrate, okay? Yeah. The base is good without being great, and while it's spicy on top, some people weren't fans of that aspect. The black olives also aren't to everyone's liking, and even worse, people have complained that they're not as fresh as they would like. While this pizza has some veggies on top of it, it's not the healthiest option, so that's another thing to consider when you're in line at Pizza Hut trying to decide what to eat. Pizza time. Pizza Hut chicken wings. Who wants to eat some delicious chicken wings and get crazy? <laughs> Packed with saucy, salty flavor, Pizza Hut's chicken wings make for the perfect match to their pizza. As one of the top American fast food brands, they know exactly how to play into their customers' palates and satisfy their cravings. And they've accomplished just that with their wings. Some quick history on chicken wings. They were originally considered the throwaway cuts, the parts of the chicken that nobody wanted. But now, 50 years later, fast food has changed the definition of the chicken wing and to the benefit of all of us. Oh my god, get this child some food quick! Chicken wings. In 2003, Pizza Hut first started offering chicken wings. The thing that made them stand out was that their chicken wings were fried, not grilled or baked. This led to them garnering a good reputation early on, and it stayed with them all the way up until the present. So what makes these wings so good? Well, as we stated before, these wings are salty, savory, and greasy, all in the best way possible. They're perfect for social gatherings, birthday parties, watching the big game, backyard barbecues, and they barely require any effort to make, especially when ordered from Pizza Hut. Also, they pair fantastically with other salty, savory, and greasy foods, aka pizza, as well as a plethora of different sauces. In other words, if you've got a craving, there's a chicken wing out there for you. Guaranteed to be delicious, Pizza Hut's chicken wings are something that'll satisfy everyone who shows up to the party, even if it's only a party of one. Show me chicken wings! Premium Garden Veggie Pizza. How's that, uh... Vegetarian pizza working out for you. Quite surprisingly, Pizza Hut has a bunch of vegan and vegetarian options. They've got the vegan veggie pizza, southern fried nuggets, and meatless vegan toppings. Even more surprisingly, the majority of these options are pretty good. The premium garden veggie pizza is packed with all your favorite veggies. Green peppers, red onions, spinach, and mushrooms atop a crushed Roma tomato sauce. It's so filling that you'll forget there are no meat products. People are super happy with this pizza, and for good reason. Most pizza places don't consider vegetarians when making their menus, like, at all. Customers say this is a fantastic choice when you're feeling peckish while you're out and about, but don't feel like explaining your dietary restrictions to restaurant workers. Let's go make fun of the vegans and their crazy lifestyle. We're not hurting anyone. And shockingly, this is also one of the healthier options that Pizza Hut offers. 
Because of the assorted vegetables, you're getting plenty of good nutrients in your body. However, dietitians warn that the healthiness of the pizza really depends on your crust choice. Obviously, the thinner, the better. Whether you're eating this because you have dietary restrictions or because you want to feel slightly healthy while eating pizza, the premium garden veggie pizza is a great choice. I took a plate of chicken parmesan. <gasps> chicken isn't vegan? Pepperoni pizza. Pizza? Shh. Taking a full 180 from the vegetarian pizza, let's get into the meat of things. Pepperoni pizza is a classic, invoked in pop culture lore going back to the 1950s with the hit song That's Amore, and today as being the favorite food of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So how does one of the world's largest pizza chains interpret this nostalgic blast from the past? Let's start with the ingredients. Cheese, tomato sauce, pepperoni, everything we love on a pepperoni pizza. The crust is akin to Pillsbury Grand's biscuits. If you're not familiar with them, they're a little slice of heaven delivered directly into your mouth for your convenience. It's billowy, soft, and cloud-like. In other words, it's tear-jerkingly good. Are you crying? Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying. The only complaint about this pizza is that there simply isn't enough sauce, but that's okay because everyone has different sauce preferences. Actually, it may be better this way because a lack of sauce means that we get to enjoy even more of that heavenly crust, and who doesn't want that? While Pizza Hut gets its pepperoni from the same supplier as many other pizza places, their pizza stands out simply because of the coverage that the pepperoni offers. Pizza Hut's pepperoni pizza is around 60% covered. For comparison's sake, that's around 20% more than other pizza companies. So if you're looking for a hearty slice of pizza covered from metaphorical head to metaphorical toe in pepperoni, you know what your best bet is. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Sure. I like that too. Pizza Hut breadsticks. You know what I love about this wedding? Breadsticks. Generally a lot sicker than other types of breadsticks, Pizza Hut's breadsticks are perfect for those who can't get enough carbs. Seriously, these things are massive, so if you're getting them, be sure to have a large appetite or friends to share them with. If you look up words like good, delicious, and heavenly, a picture of these breadsticks will show up. These breadsticks are extremely similar to Pizza Hut's crust, and depending on your opinion of their crust, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. They're super soft, and their savory flavor will likely take you back to birthday parties from your childhood. You can get different variations of these breadsticks, original cheese sticks, and stuffed garlic knots. The one that stands taller than the others is the cheese stick. Wait, whoa, let me get some of that uh, cheesy breadsticks. Because on top of all those carbs, who doesn't want a sick lay of extra gooey cheese. After a hard day of work when we're just sitting in front of the TV catching up on our favorite shows, sometimes all we need is something greasy and salty that'll fill us right up. We kind of have to try. Their breadsticks are pretty good. Stuffed crust pizza. They've been putting cheese in the crust for years now. Does this really come as a surprise? Pizza Hut's stuffed crust has always been the best in the industry, and that's deserving of the top spot. This crust has been around for years, since 1995 to be exact, so they've had enough time to master it completely. The stuffed crust was originally introduced by Patty Scheibmayer, a food scientist for Pizza Hut at the time, though there is much controversy as to who actually invented stuffed crust pizza. Her bosses originally thought she was crazy. However, when it was released, it became an overnight success, generating over $300 million in sales in its first year alone. Oh. My. God. Becky, look at that crust! In any case, this is an ideal snack. The dough, which is frozen upon arrival, gets the cheese inserted into it in store. In some variations of the stuffed crust, they stuff as much cheese as can possibly fit into it. In other variations, it's not cheese at all, but tiny little hot dogs. Well, whatever you get it stuffed with, Pizza Hut stuffed crust is definitely something to remember the next time you happen to crave some salty pies. Mmm, stuffed crust. I'll stuff you all in the crust! Fill that craving with another great video, and to all our subscribers, thanks, and be sure to ring that notification bell.